VA researchers are using leading-edge technology to design and build lighter, more functional prosthetics that look, feel, and respond more like real arms and legs. Luke Cassidy is an OIF veteran who now serves as a police officer with the VA Pittsburgh health care system. He lost his left foot and right toe to an IED in Iraq. You know, I had very small children at the time, and it was uh, uh, a challenge that I, that I felt that I wasn't going to be able to uh, function and be able to do dad things with them. And, you know, two years, no more, no more than two years later, I was able to coach pitch softball game, and I got a line drive, and I was able to hop right over it. And uh, it's like, okay, I can do this. VA researchers are studying new ways to match prosthetics to each veteran so they can maintain an active lifestyle. I didn't want a leg that was one-dimensional. I needed to be able to run, I needed to be able to jump, I needed to be able to handle a lot of load-bearing. The VA is very unique in one sense. The, the VA has a research program, but the VA also provides services, and the VA has, has its own flexibility for what technologies it provides. The VA has always been at the head of prosthetics technology. So if there's one thing that we focus on, it's actually things that really help people, devices that really work, devices that people really use. So we can get research out of the laboratory and into the hands of veterans. Vietnam veteran Michael Russell is using one of the latest prosthetics to be offered by the VA, the proprio foot. I just received this new foot and leg about two weeks ago. I am so excited about it. When I'm walking, this is the first time in 40 years I think I could feel my toes. I, I, when I pick up my leg, the foot actually comes up like a regular foot does. Now you so sit now down and you just let go of it and brain. adjust it and you watch it. There it went. <laughs> it comes right back. Did you get it? The new technology coming today is becoming so advanced, so fast. Uh, it's phenomenal. I'm telling you, it's phenomenal. I hunt, I fish, I mountain climb ride bicycles, ski. Everybody likes to stay where it's comfortable, and you can't. You have to move forward. At the Tampa and Manhattan Medical Centers, clinical trials are underway for a high-tech arm. The goal is a limb that is almost identical to a natural one, including brain control. VA prosthetics research doesn't stop at state-of-the-art limbs. It includes everything that's necessary to help that individual who is disabled regain mobility and independence so they can function in day-to-day -day life. Realize that there is a light at the end of this tunnel where you're going to be able to have, and there's going to be a group of people through the rest of your life that are going to help you along that journey of life. I think there is no better organization I think there is no better um, help for the vet than the VA and what they've done.